I know it's obvious and it's hard. <laughs> things that was helpful for me is that for most of the film my character is just sort of in awe of this woman and um, you know that was definitely captured on camera because that was a very easy thing for me to pretend to be. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the, the choices that Rooney's made as, a, uh, as an actor, you know, I, I feel like we've, we've often gravitated to, to similar kind of things, and so I felt like from the get-go there was something shared between us, but it was very much a triangle with Todd involved, and although he wasn't in the bed during the sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Um, but I, I, you know, I think Rooney has this, um, you know, this incredible openness and, and in the same, similar way to Todd, you know, that there's no judgment, and so anything can be done, anything can be said, nothing's stupid, nothing's random. Um, and I think, even though we were just sitting around the table talking, um, it, strangely, you know, it, it was about building a, you know, a trust so that anything could happen, and a lot of their experience, as, as you've just seen, happens away from each other. And so I relished the moments that we had together in the way that the characters did, because so often she'd be off with fucking Richard, you know, to do something else. And so, that, so there was some, you know, when we were together and got the chance to actually talk at length, it was really, um, yeah, I think it, was, it felt special, just formally special. You know, people talk about, you know, how was it to work with Rooney or... I don't know, maybe they ask you how it was to work with me, which is fabulous. Um, um, but, but, um, it wasn't her only. But, Phyllis Nash, who wrote the screenplay, said that she was commissioned to, to write the screenplay 18 years ago, which is a long time for a lesbian story to sit in the closet. Um, but, but it, but it took her. Thank you very much. Um, that's monumentally overwhelming, Rooney, and you can do my eulogy. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's, I could die tomorrow. Um, uh, I mean, sometimes, very rarely, uh, an actress comes along who is knows no fear, is beyond uh, intelligence, jumps off the screen, who is charismatic and who has an incredible sense of mystery. Um, that, uh, that is made accessible by extraordinary technical ability and that is you, my dear, and I cannot work, uh, wait to work alongside you. I'm terrified of the fact that you were 13 when you saw me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that's just life, isn't it? And Rooney. I mean, we seem to sort of have circled around the same directors and the same kind of sensibilities in, in you know, in our choices um, to sort of finally work with her was great. Did you fall in love? I did. A creative love with Rooney that will hopefully never die. <laughs> I, I, I'm in full of admiration with her and loved working with her every second. Good night and good luck. How important is the chemistry between these two? And how did you know you would have it? Well, you don't. I mean, and you said something really interesting the other day, is that you don't even, I mean, you can feel it between you, but you don't know that it's necessarily been captured. I mean, that's your responsibility. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's, it's something you just have to take that gamble on. But, um, I mean, I've long admired Rooney's choices as an actress, and. Um, not only the types of roles, but the choices she makes internally within a character. And so I thought, there's potential.
Definitely, I mean, one of my favourite moments in the film is, the, is um, that last moment with Rooney where you, you remember this kind of cult-like um, sort of picture of inexperience and suddenly you're utterly transformed and watching you... I mean, I fell in love with you. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but, it, I mean, it was, it's such a beautiful, subtle kind of journey um, that, that, you, you, that Rooney um, charts. It is in the whole movie, you know, set in, what, 1952, Todd? 52 to 53. 52, this, when this novel, when this book was written, clearly could not have been made as the film that you've made today, then. It took so long, wow, 60 years to get to the screen. And what's so interesting is it sort of hit the zeitgeist in a lot of ways. It's so, it's got such relevance yeah. to today still. No, I, utterly. I mean... It, And I really love Rooney, so it was kind of a perfect storm for me, creatively. So Rooney, dear Rooney, you are one of the sweetest and kindest people I have ever met. I am honoured to be able to celebrate you as an actress, and so very, very grateful to have had the opportunity to work opposite you. Although one doesn't really work opposite Rooney, you work alongside her. Brava, brava, Mrs. I'll see you soon. Call her a frozen face bitch. <laughs> The love of your life. Were you, were you okay with that? No, I hated, I hated calling you that. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> but Mo Molly liked it. <laughs> okay, will there be payback for that one? Will there be payback? Well, I wasn't on set that day, and I'm assuming it was about my character and about me. So, yes, no. Okay. Uh, Richard, you want to about it too. Oh God, I don't know what I would say about that, but yeah, I mean, working with, you know, Kate makes everything easy. I mean, how could you not feel like, um, uh, you know, that she has such a presence. So to be able to play that as if, oh my God, this energy has come into the room and it, knowing it's something important or special, um, she, Kate makes that easy. And Kate, <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I, I've, other questions for you as well, but I don't know if you want to think <laughs> about that moment, your introduction and um two actors who've worked together before, like as Rooney and I have, you you without you even doing anything, you you carry a history to, mm -hmm. together that, that you know Carol was an important film to certain people. So you know you've got a brunette and a blonde, so they're bound to sleep together, right? You know, because <laughs> the previous movie. Eye contact with one another, which maybe was a relief and for you at that point. <laughs> but, but yes, we I think I got to look at you. You didn't get to look at me. Oh, really? <laughs> You're seared. I got to look here. <laughs> but we weren't able to make eye contact with one another, which maybe was a relief and for you at that point. <laughs> but, but yes, we I think I got to look at you. You didn't get to look at me. Oh, really? <laughs> You're steered. I got to hear. We really fell for you. Totally. Right? We've kept it under wraps. Totally.